Well, Beams and Fans, this is Corey. Today <coughs> is going to be the week that my video schedule is going to be take quick. Now, I'm going to switch some things. And this is a still the video schedule. Monday, Dawn of War Soul Storm. And. Also, Empire Tall War Tuesday. Uh, strict. Minecraft Stranded Island and trying to remember and Sins of the Sower Empire Wednesday uh fuck I'm 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 already forgetting this is not a good thing Minecraft Adventure Maps, Thursday, Terraria and Minecraft Mod Review. Say this week for Mod Review is going to be the Mine, Li Mine Little Pony Mod. This was requested by Brandon Fall or Derpy Hooves or Blizzard. Blizzard. Love you, buddy. No homo. <laughs> and Friday is Awesome Craft and also the live stream, which I'll be doing with a question, a live question and answer. And say vlogs and also update videos if necessary. And Sunday free day. So that's it. So it's I'm gonna get the skirmish. We get a six. Become the. Hmm. What's what I feel like playing today? Guess I'm gonna become the Dark Elder. Murder. Start the game. And this is episode two. Now, the reason why I want to do more video games in my series is just not just Minecraft and also Terraria. It's also some other games like Empire Total War and also uh, Dawn of War Soulstorm. And like Sins of the Sword Empire and Rebellion. I'm going to try to get di like Dishonored and play that if my, reco my record even works. And sometimes it's always a bitch. This is going to take a while. Let's get eight, play Ages of Empires. And upload that if I could install this to the game in my computer has enough space. Ugh. Does it take you that long to load? <laughs>
Kursk. <laughs> so, you guys, how was your day? No, I'm good. It's funny how I can't see through the camera. God damn it. So, let's play the guessing game. I like games. <laughs> oh, there, there it is. Feel so bad. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm all gifts. Well, I'm fucked. <laughs> that was not a battle, I promise you. That was not a fight. Oh, what? All right, screw you, Imperial Guard. We're playing, I'm playing the campaign. Fuck your shit. <laughs> so, how was your day? <coughs> oh, I'm good. I'm good. I guess we could call this an episode. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm gonna continue this shit. the sudden appearance of a warp storm at the Cow River system's outer edge that first caught the attention of the Imperium, and not just the Imperium. After hundreds of years under the neglectful watch of the Imperial Guard, nearly every force in the galaxy would descend upon the planet of Cow River, bent only on domination and victory. Three races had long dwelled in there. The Imperial Guard, its supposed rulers. The Orc tribes of Kaura Vatu, which the Guard had never successfully put down. And the Necron, who had slept undisturbed for untold millennia beneath Kaura Vatu. Where the Chaos Marines came from, or how, none can say. Did the Warp Storm bring them, or did they bring the Warp Storm? Both appeared suddenly on Kaura before, and in an eye blink, half the system's Imperial forces were gone, killed or claimed by the madness of Chaos. In quick succession, the others brought to Kaura. The Space Marines, the Imperium's super soldiers, descended on Kaura for two, planning to finally cleanse the system, both of the troublesome orcs. And the Chaos Marines, the sworn mortal enemies. The Tau appeared next, not far above, on one of the planet's moons. In the interests of protecting its ordered empire from the effects of human folly, the Tau came seeking to contain the Warp Storm, and in so doing, expand the territory's border. On their moon, they built a mighty fortress and there forged a space cannon capable of interplanetary devastation. Among the winds of Kaurava III, the Necrons, perhaps awakened by the disruptive forces of the Warp Storm, slowly massed their lethal legions. In quick response, webway gates, long unused, flickered to life, and Eldar poured forth, ready to battle their dark, death-dealing adversaries. Meanwhile, in the shadow of an ancient portal gate, the Dark Eldar slipped stealthily out of the murky depths of the webway. They would be like carrion birds, flying above the battlefield, and when all were weary from the fight, make the battlefield into a feasting ground. Last to arrive, and perhaps most to be feared, were the Sisters of Battle. Holy Maidens and Bearers of the God Emperor's Faith. 
They had come to cleanse the system of corruption and filth. Their faith left them fanatical, unafraid of death and solace in the cars. Nothing here was clean. All must be purged. Now, so much sexiness. War rages anew, and only the victorious may write their history. Only the victorious will claim the planets of Kaurava. Damn. Welcome to the single player campaign of Dawn of War mm. Storm. These tutorial windows will guide you. This province is your stronghold or home territory. It is from here that you are launching your conquest of the Kaurava system. If your stronghold is ever conquered, you will be pushed out of the planetary system and lose the campaign. Since this is the first turn, this is the only territory you currently control. The enemy factions each have their own strongholds, identified by banners on the campaign map. To win the campaign and make the entire Tower of a System yours, you must conquer all eight enemy strongholds. The icon of your commander indicates the current position of your main army. These arrows show you where your army can move or attack this turn. Red arrows indicate attacks into enemy provinces. forces you are leading into an attack and allows you to return to the campaign map if you decide you don't want to attack yet. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kyra Haran.
Well, this is interesting. There are sw a fucking swarm. Shit. <laughs> 